I'm Katie, and this is Katie Plays Stuff, where I play stuff for you. And today, we are back to the next part of Alan Wake 2. Well, okay. This is the next part. This is the next video. Okay. But I have decided for this episode, we are going to start with a little bit of story, because we do need to finish up whatever we're doing here at the nursing home. And after that... We are going to take a little ride around all of the places we've been to, and we are going to use the bolt cutters that we got in the last video, and we are going to find all of the secrets. We are going to try to get all of the nursery rhymes um, and all the spots that we can use the bolt cutters. This may be a long video, or it may be a short video if I decide to cut everything down. I have no idea. But this is going to be basically a filler episode. So... If you are uninterested in any of the nursery rhymes or anything like that, um, you could basically skip this one if you're not interested in any filler type stuff. Um, I do ask that you watch the beginning of the video at least because I do still need to speak with um, Tor. I think that's where I left off last time. Um, I do have to talk to Tor and I'm sure there's going to be some story stuff still right now. Uh, but after that, I'm going to try to treasure hunt for a little bit. I also recorded another video today, um, right before this, so hopefully that video will be up around the time that this video goes up, so that if you're not interested in this, you'll at least have something else to watch. So, I'm gonna shut up and let's get right into this. Alrighty, I'm gonna get myself nice and comfy in my chair, got my feet up in a pretzel position, and here we go. I took the record and I brought it back. Oh! I was like, what the hell is going on? I forgot I saved all the way down here. <laughs> I was saved in this basement area because I was too scared to talk to Tor and keep the story going. Dang it. Also, um... When I was editing this video... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we killed her! Why is she still haunting us? Anyway, when I was editing this video, I realized who this guy is. I'm pretty sure this is Vladimir Blum, or Bloom, or however you pronounce his name. I'm pretty sure that's him. He was the, uh, mechanic guy, or, like, the, um, whatever. The guy who worked down here, because we were finding all of his notes everywhere. Um, I don't know where one is right now. But anyway, you know all those notes that we picked up? Uh, they all said VB. That's him. I'm pretty sure that's the guy. Anyway. Ah, what a beautiful, bright, sunny day. Is it morning? Finally morning. After the longest night of my life. We saved Tor from the abyss. That was fucking, uh, Cynthia Weaver. She was so scary. <laughs> Hi. We need to talk. <sighs> Damn right. Lots for me to explain, but not here. The night's got ears. We can have our talk in your head. You have a room there, right? How do you know about that? I'm your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? Yeah, I don't understand how he knows about my mind place and the whole thing. I, I, I just, I don't understand. So I guess I have to go profile him. Um, so maybe it's not morning? Maybe it's, like, dusk? And we just... I don't fucking know what time it is ever in this game. Anyway. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know about my mind place? How is that possible? We all have the power. Find the truth. Damn right I do. Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. See past the lies. Past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons aren't bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. I have a power. My mind place is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. 
Interesting. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While well, everyone else forgot? I mean, I guess maybe. Yeah, I mean, everybody else is a part of this story and they don't realize they are. But she does, so maybe. I have the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An amp. Get your guitar roaring and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's got to be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. He needs to rewrite the story first. Yeah. I can't stop the horror story without him. Didn't we already figure that? <laughs> Didn't we already know this information? You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family. Way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by, I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. My father, my mom. You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. My father. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. With David. Does David even exist at this point? I won't point? stop until they're safe. Oh my god, I hear all about David. Doesn't pick up the phone, though. All right, anyway. So, why is my case board completely empty? Area around, okay, so we got some stuff. Let's see, the clicker acts like an amplifier. It can magnify the reality changing effects of art. The clicker, the clicker, which goes here. So Wake writes a story, the dark place makes it change reality, and the clicker amplifies that change, making it permanent. Makes sense? Because Wake wrote the story, only Wake can edit it. Okay. Wake needs to be the one to rewrite the ending. Got it. Anderson family and I'll is need to keep an eye on him. To the effects of the story because of a hereditary power. So the Anderson family is immune. Interesting. So that will go. 
with uh, sure the story doesn't affect me like it does other people because of who I am because of who I am because of my family I entered the dark place by playing Torn Odin's song Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Interesting. Is that because of the dark place's focus on art? Area around an overlap is always flooded. Does the overlap cause the flooding? I don't know. Um, fact versus fiction. All Andersons have powers. Mom never told me about them because she thought they were dangerous. Wanted me to have a normal life. They can communicate with me here because they have something similar. Because we're family. Tor and Odin understand the true nature of the mind place. Uh, <laughs> set go. Life and watery. Set go here? Alright. The mind place isn't some mental technique. It lets me inside people's heads to see the truth. Tor and Odin can actually speak with me in my mind place, thanks to their own powers. So weird. Tor, our family is not bound by Wake's story. The Andersons can see through the horror story. Alright, this would explain why my memories haven't changed like everyone else. Uh, Mom moved away with me because of Tor. Tor wanted to apologize, but never got the chance. Tor and Odin are my relatives. Why did Mom? The leave? evidence fits with what I know is true. Tor and my it's a father lot to process. had problems. There was trouble. Freya took me away after that. Mom thought Tor's power was dangerous. And Anger's remorse mentions the man hmm. I drove away. The way Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. Alrighty. But he is genuinely sorry. Does that mean these are available now? Nope, still for later. Oops. What was the... This one here. Okay, it's filling itself in for me. I love this. That's my favorite. I already took care of all this. Good. Good, good, good. I do think a lot of this information is so redundant and not useful. <laughs> like, I can hear the guy speaking. You know, I don't think I need it, like, read back to me um, by the main character. Tor is here, in the overlap. Not anymore. Gotta find him and get the fuck out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then here he is. Case closed. Wake wrote Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. I rescued Tor Anderson, my grandfather, from the Dark Presence. Wake fucking wrote Logan into this story. She's in danger because of him. Within Scratch's reach. I need Wake to write an ending that will save her. Mm -hmm. Now we got... Cynthia seduced Tor to keep him away from me. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, where does that go, then? Cynthia? Sure. She seduced him. Cynthia wanted the record. Tor would have done anything, she said. Okay. Um, and now that we did that, still... Okay. So that... That is done. Now, looking at our maps here. Looking at our maps. This is... Bright Falls. This is the woods around the nursing home. We got a cold stash there. Cold stash here. We got lots of cold stashes. I'm gonna try to do a lot today. Um, then we got watery. I do. I gotta go up here to the ranger cabin. Um, cold stash over here. I need the bolt cutters to get over there. I remember that. So, we have. A lot to do, man. Where, what's this one? Cauldron Lake. And then there's Cauldron Lake. And if you guys remember, 
we never went over here to the rental cabins because I think this whole area was blocked off at one point. Um, so I'm going to try to get back up there. Yeah. And this is going to be a fun one, folks. Still here? Thank you, Tor, for everything. Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake. To stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. Me and my bro will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, your daughter is alive. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thank you, Thanks, Tor. Thanks, Grandpa. Don't worry about me, kiddo. I'll drag my sorry ass over to Odin. A few shots of the Anderson's finest will fix us both up. Sure it will. See you soon, Saga. Sure it will. The FBC is holding Wake at the Sheriff's Station. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. All right, let's use Wake our bolt cutters. The clicker. We have to work together to stop this. All righty. So. Casey. Do you read me, Casey? How did Damn I get it. to the other side? Did you guys Where just Where are you, Casey? <laughs> he better be okay. I was on the other side and I Focus, opened it Saga. this way. Get to the station to wake. All right. We are not going to the station, folks. I am so sorry. We also need to play as Alan again. Um, so we're going to run around as Saga for this episode. And then we're going to actually play as Alan in the next video and do a little bit more of his story. This place is fucking destroyed! What's this? Alrighty. Your hair is looking nice today, <laughs> Mandy May. Back oh. to the old grind. Gosh. This is how it looks every day. Well, then it looks nice every day. You guys just back to your, uh, your three sentences that you say and that's it. It's all over. Where's Rose? Where is everybody? Let's go upstairs and see if everybody's where they're supposed to be. Back at it again. Let's see, Odin's still in bed? Still there. Alright, doesn't look like... She's back in her spot. Just another day. <laughs> Ooh, what about Ati? Is he upstairs sitting on his bed? I am so interested. Oh, it's dark in there. Oh. He's not in here. Also, what is this door? How do we open this? At um, Alan's apartment, he also has a door in his apartment that has this swirl on it. So, I don't know what that's about. Alrighty. Well, I guess we'll head on out of here. And I'm probably not going to show myself um, walking back and forth from each location. I will probably skip um, and cut those parts out. So this might be a mix mash of random places, and I'm really sorry about that. But I'm, I'm going to have to fit all of this into an hour long video. Oh, can't go that way. All right, where's my map? Um, all right, so I need to go back, actually, this way, past the water. So we're going to go this way. I really love this fucking manor, this nursing home. I think it's so beautiful. Like, what would I give to live in a house like this? I wouldn't want to clean it. That would fucking suck. But... Like, that is my dream, to have, like, a really old farmhouse. Like, a historic house that people, like, definitely died in. Like, history, you know? But then, like, modernize it. Did I already pick this up? What is this? But yeah, like, a modernized farmhouse, you know? It'd be so nice. Cynthia's lamp. Where is it? When Cynthia Weaver was downstairs at breakfast... Rose snuck into her room. With all the lamps in the room, it took her a while to find the one with an angel. 
Luckily, the dream Al had sent her had been very clear. Rose was certain that Cynthia would not miss one lamp. She had so many. Tonight, Rose would put the lamp in a shoebox and let it sink into the garden pond. That's what Alan wanted. That's how she could help him. The thought made her whole body buzz with joy. Cynthia knew the lamp was missing the very moment she came back to her room. She was overcome by grief. It had been Tom's lamp, one of the few things that reminded her of him. It had not worked in a long time with the cord severed and the light switch gone. But there are other kinds of lights than the ones we can see. The invisible light of the angel lamp had held Cynthia together all these years. With tears welling in her eyes, she didn't see the shadows shifting in the corners of her room. All right. I don't know if we already listened to that, but it, it sounded new to me. But I also forget everything. Um, hmm. So the lamp was thrown into the pond, which is probably why it became the overlap. All right. Well, let's bolt cutter our way this way. How is everybody doing today? Ooh, it's rosy in here. Look at this. How beautiful. Bunker Woods. I promise you guys I am gonna finish this game at some point. <laughs> I'm sorry that I take so long to finish everything. Um, I know I do. And I have an issue. But I also have a job and a boyfriend in real life and, you know, family and friends and, you know, this really isn't, um, this is just a hobby. And I've said that in past videos before, but in case you're new to the channel, I am not a full-time YouTuber. Um, where is this? Here. So I, I really just only do this on Another the side when I, have, cult boxes. when I have time to do it. Bolt cutters. It needs a key? What? Not that any of these would work. Damn it. Okay, where am I gonna find a key for that? Maybe one of these places. Ranger Station. Alright, well let's keep going down. So, I apologize that these videos do come very, very slow. And I would like to speed it up for sure. Um, but also... It really is just a hobby that I do whenever I have extra time. Like, I don't make a whole lot of money from this, if at all. Um, so it's not like... More of those kids' lunchboxes. It's not like I'm rushing to get these videos out because I'm a millionaire, you know? <laughs> like, I just, I take my time and I do it for fun. So I apologize for that. Um, don't pretend to be anyone or anything else besides who you are. Thanks, bros. <laughs> Thanks. All right, we got... Some stuff. Alright, should we upgrade the rifle? Consecutive successful hits would significantly reduce the time between shots. Uh, stand still to enter an improved focus mode. This mode grants perfect accuracy, pulls shots towards enemy weak spots, and deal I need that for sure. Bullets penetrate the enemy's darkness shield. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna do this one. I need increased damage. Saga stood still. Emptying her mind, focusing, breathing in, breathing out. She aimed the rifle, ready for the kill shot. Alrighty. Let's go. So where am I here? Let's keep going straight down. And I, it's getting darker. I really hope the game stays this color and doesn't get darker and darker. Because, um, that would fucking suck. The scenery in this game is so good, too. This is- this is a very beautiful game. Uh, I would love to appreciate it more if I wasn't trying to just find all of the, uh, items in this episode. Okay. Oh, no! I forgot about enemies! 
I can't be wasting all my bullets and fighting shit while I'm doing this. Do you see me? Maybe he doesn't. Okay. Okay, this is a code. Looks like I'm gonna need my light. Hi. Oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! ah! Uh oh, I'm out, I'm out. Why do we gotta have two of them? What is that? Oh. Another cult stash? Another cult box. Uh huh, you just gonna talk about it now? Oh, get back over here. Hunting season. Ah! All right. Well, now there's less monsters. All right. So, we got this here. So, we have the hourglass looking one. We have the two triangles down. And we have Uh, and we have the two triangles away. So let's just figure it out. We got hourglass. We got two triangles down, I think. And then, what did I say? Something away? Is that what I said? Yeah, I did. Okay. So, let's do... Two triangles away... And then down. Okay, no. Let's do... <laughs> two triangles away... Down... Hourglass. There we go. We were gonna get there eventually. Alright. Got a few items. Cool. Not that um, I can really fit that much stuff in my inventory. So what's the point of finding all these cult stashes if I don't really have enough room for it all? You know, I'm gonna try to get a bunch of nursery rhymes in this video. And, um... Really, they just give you, like, charms for your bracelets and stuff. They don't really give you anything too spectacular. And, um, like, do I really want all that? I don't know. We're gonna do what we can. Alright, let's go up here. It's gotta be a nursery rhyme up here. Bolt cutters? No? Screwdriver? Oh, screwdriver works. Okay, I was gonna say, why do I need a key for all this shit? Unless there's a key in here. Uh. Okay. Well, good thing I tried that. Hmm. What we got, what we got a computer let's see seven months ago it's come to my attention okay dr campbell to michaels vega michaels michaels vega whatever it has come to my attention that both of you oh it's two people uh that both of you have left your posts on several occasions while on duty to gallivant around town on personal business this is unacceptable you are under strict fbc protocols regarding co covertness and confidentiality and as your supervisor, I am responsible for your conduct at all times. If you find the work boring, too bad. You are to fulfill your roles and duties as I see fit and as the project requires. I am changing your posts and I'll be overseeing the watery area as it now has the most test sites to cover. 
The ranger cabin there will be my base of operations. Vega, you're moving to Cauldron Lake's Witchfinder Station. Michaels, you're staying in the Bright Falls Station. I don't want to hear any excuses, but I do need you to acknowledge these orders. Dr. Eugene Campbell. So these are all the different ranger stations that you see. Um, interesting. Uh, Dr. Campbell, acknowledged and understood. That goes for the both of us, Michaels and me. It really was not gallivanting, as you put it, though. As I was attacked by some rapid animal out there in the woods, and Michaels helped me get medical attention in town. You should know all that if you read your messages, of course. In any case, orders received. Vega. All right. Attacked by an animal, you say. Oh, we got one of these guys. I feel bad for these guys. Mm -hmm. I feel bad for me for having to touch them all. What was that noise? Was that a doll? Child doll. See, this is why I can't finish all the nursery rhymes, because I don't think I have all the dolls. And the only way to get all the dolls is to literally find them and search each room slowly and make sure you don't miss anything. Like, I could have missed that. So... There's probably a lot of dolls that I've missed, and a bunch of nursery rhymes that we're not going to finish. Alrighty. I feel like that child doll's gonna come useful. What's this? Another one! Monster doll? Oh shit, I'm gonna miss some things, aren't I? There's a rhyme over here. Oh. Okay, let's see. A child needs their mother to keep them safe, and a home as their hiding place. Because outside the monsters roam and chase, when they ring your doorbell, don't yell. Don't tell them to go away. Give them treats and pray, and they won't rock your house down to the ground. Okay, a child needs their mother, and a home as their hiding place. So, child. I do have a mother doll as well. Because monsters roam and chase. When they ring your doorbell, don't yell. Give them treats. Hmm. All right. Did the doorbell just ring? There's gonna be a monster I gotta kill. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. <gasps> You're coming down? Or are you just walking around up there? Ooh, this is creepy. Ugh. Hello? Hmm. Is there something I gotta do here? Or? Hmm. Oh, what's this? I can use this charm on my bracelet. I got another charm. Alrighty, that was creepy. <laughs> cool. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah, what does this mean? Did I miss something? Oh. Ranger Station, Bunker Woods. Okay, so this tells me where the nursery rhymes are. Right? Janitor's Bucket. I don't know. Is that supposed to help me with something? 
maybe if I go over here. Get the clicker to wake and make him fix his attempt to play God. That's the plan. But the FBC have him. We'll do it, we'll do it. Still for later. Cult stashes I don't really care about. Nursery rhymes. Listing the test sites in Bright Falls. Sure. There we go. Monster doll. So this is all the dolls I've found so far. Looks like I found a bunch of them. Looks like I'm just missing one up there. Definitely missed it somewhere. Um, and then another lunchbox. Right. Alright, so now that that's in there, um... I guess I could go get this cult stash and then head on out of here. I don't have a key for this. I don't know where the key is. Unless it's in here somewhere. But I'm not really worried about the cult stashes because I don't have a lot of room anyway. I just want to get like the... the nursery rhymes. I feel like those are important. Um... I think there is a cult stash over here somewhere though. Right? To the left? Wish I could just jump off this little ledge here. Who's down there? Have I been down there? See, this is how long it takes me to get around. I've already been recording for 43 minutes. And it's like, how am I going to get everything if it takes so long? Ah! Trying to get his back. Oh, I missed him. Stop running. There we go. Okay. I think that's all of them. What am I even picking up? Alright. And what is this about? This needs a key too? See, that's my problem. I don't want that. That is my fucking problem. I don't know where the keys are! I will not be getting all the cult stashes, I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know what this thing is right here. Maybe that's a spot that has the keys? I'm gonna, um... <sighs> Since I've already been recording for so long and nothing's happened, I am going to try to get as many nursery rhymes as I can, or bulk clutter locations as I can. If we don't get everything, I apologize. Were we ever going to get everything? Probably not. Also, I feel like if I go around trying to get all these cult stashes, I'm just wasting my bullets on the enemies out here anyway. Right? It's like I'm, I'm going through all this work trying to get get the stashes, but then I'm losing all the ammo that I'm getting by killing all these fucking creatures. Oh, we got a little safe spot, though. There we go. 
I like that. And we got a janitor bucket. We could say screw this whole idea. We could just play as Alan. And we got another bolt thingy I don't want. Alright, let's throw some stuff in this shoebox like you. Alrighty. So, what I am gonna do now is say fuck these two cold stashes. Don't care. Don't know where the keys are. Not my problem. I'm gonna go over here to Billy's Boatyard. Which is probably gonna take me a very long walk to get there. So, I'll see you when we get there. Alright, that's gotta be it over there. My game's getting a little laggy. Yeah, this is a laggy spot for some reason. But, looks like there's a lunchbox over here. Ooh, FPS. It's up here. And another lunchbox. And a manuscript page. Rose receives a message. What kind of message? Rose woke up from another dream from her idol. Another message. All through her morning routine, she was humming happily. So happily, she realized she was starting to forget what Alan had told her. Something about a hero who would come to save them all. And the hero... Rose frowned. This won't do, Rose Marigold. You know better than to forget. Something about knitwear. The hero... Liked it? Rose nodded, determined. She'd use the knitwork to guide the hero to the secret stashes she had hid in the forest to help them. Knitwear to mark the spot. Alan will love that, she thought. Now she only needed the knitwork. Rose thought hard. Mandy May was always knitting. Mandy May would help her. Alan would love that, she thought. <laughs> yeah, I bet. The woods were dark. I held my breath. I could hear heavy footsteps out among the trees. I was scared. My heart beat in my chest like a small fluttering bird against its cage. I shivered. I was cold, too. I saw a shape emerge from the trees. It was a menacing large shape. A bad shape. It looked at me with evil, glowing eyes. I gasped. No. It had seen me. It growled and lurched towards me. I ran, I ran, I ran, and ran until running became too hard to do. I couldn't run anymore, so I stopped running. I could feel the monster's hot breath on my neck. I was too afraid to turn around. It was about to get me. I was a goner for sure. I ran again. I had never been so scared, not ever. This was the end. I wish someone, anyone, would come and save me. Well, sorry. I'm sure you got a got out of there because you wrote that long ass message all right made it to the boat yard the boat yard of bright falls please give me something good big money big money i don't know what this episode is guys I'm like, I should have, like, prepared this episode with, like, at least something to talk about so that I could fill the space with, a, uh, I don't know, some fucking story or... Oh! Where's the radio? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Jesus Murphy, I saw Alan Wake walk in before it all 
My god, is that man losing his mind? Also, there's a shootout at the hotel! Which we already were there for, so he called in a little bit late. Bolt cutters, baby. I can get into anywhere, any place. Except for those cult stashes that I didn't have keys for. Where the fuck am I? <gasps> I'm all the way back here. That's cool. Looks like we got nursery rhyme over here. Another rhyme. Uh huh. Let me just look around and see if there's any dolls sitting here. I don't see any dolls. All right. Let's see. Five little monsters out on the sea competing to see who the winner will be. They rocked their boats to find out who floats, until one little monster did fall. Mama called out to the sea and cried, and the sea, she replied, on the bottom they will rot if not stop rocking their boats. Okay, monsters on the sea and boats. So, sure. And then Mama, Mama did what? <laughs> What did she say? Mama called out to the sea? Hmm. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um. Follow the, uh, the sludge. Follow the sludge. It goes this way. Oh. This just looks like a human. Oh, fuck. My god. Ooh. God, there's so many people here. Oh God! Power's out. Alex. Who just yelled at Alex? Oh shit! Oh my God, I suck. less monsters yeah and there's also less ammo also why did she call out to alex i'm so confused she literally called out to him like he was sitting right here fucking hanging out with us so that i'm a little confused about 
Oh. I'm getting quite the charm collection. I guess I am. Oh, I almost fell in the water. <laughs> okay, that doesn't open. Alright. Huh. Yeah, I just... This whole running around and finding nursery rhymes and all this stuff would be great if I had a lot more ammo. Because now that I think about it, the more nursery rhymes I find, the more monsters I'm gonna have to kill. These bad people are good people. I don't know. They're good. Oh, God. There's another cult stash. I gotta hear about beef jerky one more fucking time. Give me all that. What's that say? Fear the dark. Fear the woods. hear about it. I don't care about your spinal stenosis. I don't got time for that. Okay, so where do I need to go? This is the the lodge. Sheriff Station. I think what does it say my goal is? Give the clicker to wait, go to the sheriff station. Optional investigated. Okay, so what we need to not do is go to the sheriff station. Unless we wanna <clears throat> keep the story going. Um but this is the lodge. Be cool if they had some ammo in here. Oh, everything's back to normal. Kinda. Some blood. Hey. Oh, got the little janitor room. Um, yeah, it'd be really nice if I could get some ammo though. Alrighty, let me use the shoe box. Chance to stun enemy on a flashlight boost. Okay, I guess I'm gonna put you over here. Alright, you guys. You know how much progress we've made? Fucking zip. Zip. And I've been recording for over an hour. You probably haven't seen over an hour, but... <laughs> that's how long I've been Burn. recording for. Burn. Alrighty, so let's see. So we don't want to go to the sheriff station. There is the Oh Dear Diner. We could check that out. Um, I feel like there's supposed to be some spots around here that need the bolt cutters, but I'm so scared that if I get too close to the sheriff station. But I feel like I needed these bolt cutters for something out here way back when. I just don't remember where. It's a cult stash over there. Hi, mister. Ah, maybe this was what I was talking about. Another one of those cult boxes. Another one. Work log, January 1st. Overprivileged town hall folks complaining about poor TV reception. Hopefully not due to the paint job. Oops. January 17th. Took a photo with a giant moose statue in the park. February 2nd. Damn dogs keep digging up the flowers. February 31st. Park's trash can needed fresh coat of paint. Tried painting the large tree in the park, but the weather was too hot. Cooled down on the bench. What the fuck? Why does that have to do with any of this? Oh, okay. I just need to look for these. Or, uh, symbols somewhere. Hmm. No, because there's so many. I was thinking maybe I need to go to these places around the town to look for the code. Town hall folks complaining about poor TV reception. Took a photo with the giant moose in the park. Oh my god. 
Yeah, there's got to be some symbols around here somewhere. I'm guessing. In here or somewhere. Usually when you shine your flashlight you can see them, but... I don't see anything. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna have to come back to that one. We're, we're gonna come back to this town because that's where we have to go. Anyway. So we will be back here. If you guys want to help me out with that one, if I can't figure it out. Okay. She wouldn't just wander off and not tell us. Especially after all the weirdness at the lodge. I'm worried, Jules. Well, I'm fucking worried, too. You just had to follow some stupid internet rumors and solve the riddle of Bright Falls. Okay. One of us needs to stay at the lodge in case Marcy shows up. And the other one should go out looking for her. If we canvass the woods, we're sure to find some tracks or something. Some hints to her whereabouts. We can even use some of our equipment. This is not the time to geek out over the stupid gear, Riley. It's all toys anyway. I feel like I heard them yelling about their gear earlier in this game. Alright, let's go into the Oh Dear Diner. Rose is not here working. Good grub you got here. I'm glad to hear it. Hello, ma'am. Oh, break it down with your bad self. Weird song to do that, but okay. How are you liking your food? It's, uh, it's alright. Oh. Well, alright. Have I touched you yet? You are a handsome deer. I want to say that's what she said, but that's just not, that's not what anybody should say. <laughs> Um, I've definitely been in here. Oh, screwdriver? Okay, so the screwdriver opens up basic locks. I didn't know that. I wish I knew that. What we got in here? Dear Diary, Alan contacted me again today. There was a message for me hidden in the newspaper. He wanted to make sure I was ready for his arrival. What a silly thing to even ask. Of course I am ready. Duh, Alan. Oh, and Norman got into the dried apricots at work again. I swear we'll have to fumigate the place. Dear Diary, some guy at the diner got mad that I brought him a piece of cherry pie and demanded a free piece of apple, but I totally ordered cherry. Oh, but he totally ordered cherry. And when I pointed out that he already took two bites of the cherry, he said he thought it was apple. Apple pie and cherry pie do not look the same. I guess. I told him he could order another piece, but he'd have to pay for it. And he got so mad and started screaming about leaving me a bad review. Like I care about reviews. Anyway, I took his pie and told him babies shouldn't be eating sweets. He shouted a bit, then left. Some people. She what a terrible waitress. Dear Diary, Cynthia's been acting up lately. I think she's turning into a you-know-what. Lots of you-know-what's popping up lately. I'll keep an eye on it. If things get out of hand, I could always get out the rifle. I'm sure Alan would appreciate me keeping the place safe. Okay, these are the writings of a madman. Mad woman. She should not be writing about how some old lady's turning into a you-know-what and she's gonna break out the rifle. <laughs> she's gonna go to jail fucking idiot. <laughs> Crazy lady. Alrighty, well, I think that's all I want to do here. Yeah, it says that's locked there. Interesting. Won't open. Hmm. Um, but yeah, we're not gonna go to the sheriff station. Where's my car? Where is my car parked? It's gotta be out in front of the lodge. What's over here? Oh, bolt cutters! Yeah, let's just do this in plain sight in front of this guy. He's busy. Oh, fuck. Okay. Another let's cult see. stash? Another cult stash. One, two, three on um something out in the water. Okay. Uh 
people out here fishing. Oh, oh I was going to try to go up these stairs, but I can't. Okay. Oh my god, Pat. Okay, I think I'm hearing old ones that should have been listened to a long time ago. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure Terry is not calling in talking about cuckoo clocks right now. Okay, I don't see anything out on the water that's gonna help me. Or maybe I... Alright, folks. I have ran around this barge. I've done a lot of barge running. And I do not know what this is. I don't see anything that looks like that out in the water that's gonna give me the code to this. Well, that was, um, my best guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I know you guys think I'm stupid. I know. I know you guys look at me in this video and think, oh my god, that bitch is stupid. I know. You're not wrong, and I never said you were wrong. <sighs> Can't get in here. So what do you think that whole thing at the lodge was about? I don't, I don't know. It's better not to get mixed up with that much. Oh, so you do know something after all. Do ya? You remember how it went last time? The sacrifices we made? The pain? It's happening again. Who are you talking to? Excuse me? We learned from the last oh. time, didn't we? Fought our way through it. Held fast. Okay. And now look at us. As thick as thieves. Ew. Stop talking like that. Oh, is there a lunchbox over here? Or did I find this? At another time. Oh, look what we got here. Two triangles up. Two triangles up, two triangles away. Where's the third one? Come on, baby. Don't give me two. Don't give me blue balls. There's Where? another lunchbox. Where? Oh my god, it's just too fucking dark. <laughs> All right, lunchbox. You won't believe how hard it was to track down these lunchboxes. Thank goodness for the internet. Oh, thank goodness. You know, thank goodness for the internet, I'd be looking all this shit up, but I'm not. Oh! Two up. Right there. Two away. Sure. And two... Up again. Okay, two up vertical, two up sideways. Oh my god, this is so hard. <laughs> up, up, and away. <laughs> Let me, uh, go find that spot. We got, uh, up, up, and away. Okay, we got up. We got up and away. Okay, we got away. We got up and we got up. Right? Okay, we got you. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> All for this. This and this. <laughs> You guys, you know, I know some of you, along with, I can't even walk through doors, along with thinking I'm stupid, you also watch this, and, uh, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> Maybe. 
maybe I am stupid. No, along with thinking I'm stupid, you also think that I can't figure out any of these cold stashes. Which, I guess, in turn makes me stupid. But when I do figure them out, there's nothing in them! So it's like, what is the point? Like, do I really need to run around and find all of them? For what? To what gain? To what end? You know? To what end? Where's my car? Where am I parked? Alright. We got Watery and we got Cauldron Lake. Cauldron Lake has that area that I really want to go to. Watery has the trailer park and another ranger station, I believe. Hmm. Look where we are, bitches. Look where we are. Back to the old stomping grounds. And I want to take this health. Alright, so for this place... Um... I feel like there's not really a lot I want to do, but I do want to go over here to these rental cabins. That's what I want to do. Um, looks like there's a point of interest there and here, which could be nursery rhymes? It's possible. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to be getting all the secrets in this game. <laughs> At least not in this video. Because it is 11 o'clock at night, and I have work in the morning. Um, I really thought I was going to be moving a lot faster than I am, but sometimes I forget that I'm me, and I don't move that fast. So let's see. Oh, I'm already passing it. How do I get up there? This must be the way. Yes, and we need the bolt cutters. Look at that. Look at that. What could they have been hiding from us? This entire game until right now. Day one. Some weird animal tried to break into our clubhouse. It was scary. Max hit it off with a big stick and it ran away. I think it was a skewer. Squirrel. <clears throat> Before. <laughs> okay. Our candy stash has gone missing. Maybe it was the squirrel. Day six. Max found candy wrappers in the woods. There was some big poops there. It wasn't the squirrel. Max has gone missing. <gasps> oh no. Beware the wicked witch rules. One person is the wicked witch. Everyone else has to run and hide. When the witch says, beware me, everywhere has, every, I can't read, everybody has to change places. If you go to someone else's hiding place, if you tag them to kill them, don't get tagged and killed. If the wicked witch finds you, you're dead. If you find the witch's lair, she's caught. Burn the witch. That sounds like a scary game. Someone playing music out here? Oh, I think there's a cult stash in here. Oh! Why did that scare me? This is a safe spot. Ah, tea and the janitors. Okay, what do we got in here? Another cult box. Ah. Okay. Well, does the screwdriver work for that? No. So, it looks like there's gonna be a key somewhere. Yeah. See, these key-finding ones, unless I find it organically, I'm not interested. I think it's a lot of work for not so much gain, you know? Is there anything out here? Okay. It's, it's a lot of work when you really don't get all that much. You get like a flare and some ammo sometimes. So I'm not gonna um, go Must all out for that. Must be locked from the other side. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna sneeze. 
Excuse me. Not from the other side, you say. God, this video is gonna <clears throat> suck. I already know it. Like, I'm literally, when I edit this tomorrow, or whenever the hell I edit this, <laughs> it's just gonna be me rambling, talking to myself, which I always do. And, like, barely finding anything. Finding stashes that need keys, and then not finding those keys. What a great video. What a great time. Another one of those lunchboxes. Oh, well that's good. See, the lunch boxes are my favorite part, to be honest. Here it is. Alrighty. His hair was longer than I remembered, blowing gently in the cool night breeze. I put my hand to his cheek to confirm that he was indeed real. And he was. He was real. Feeling his handsome beard, wild but neatly trimmed beneath my fingers, proved it. You're back, I breathed. Yes, I'm back. I wasn't cold any longer. Ugh. Icky. Icky, icky. Guess that is that. Um. Where am I? I'm here. Call stash over here. I don't have the key for. Hmm. And looks like there's a tree blocking this spot. So I can't even go over there. Hmm. That was really all I wanted to do here. I don't really care about going back to any of these places, to be honest. Um, the next place I do want to go is to the trailer park in Watery. And I think there's a bolt cutter spot there that I want to do too. Because now that I've realize that I am not going to be getting all of these treasures and all of these nursery rhymes and all of these cult stashes. I'm good with ending this video uh, going back to the trailer park and getting what I need to get there. <laughs> and then, and then, you know, going on with Alan's story and finally finishing this game. So let's go to Watery and finish this video off. I hope you guys can be satisfied with whatever video I'm giving you today. <laughs> It's not going to be everything, but, uh, hopefully it will suffice for today. Um, there is a nursery rhyme here that I can go and try and do again. Because I don't, I don't remember what it was, but I couldn't figure it out. Maybe I'm smarter today. Over here. Let's see. There once was a faithful girl. At home she stayed, and there she prayed for her lover to return. But he collected fair maidens, just as he did, their stolen riches and broken hearts. At home she stayed, so... Is it maiden? Is she- I don't have girl. I don't have, like, faithful girl. I have maiden. Home she stayed there. She prayed for her lover to return. But he collected fair maidens, as he did. Their stolen riches and broken hearts. Okay, so I have monster, mother, child, dear, hero, trickster, wise elder. Maybe I'm missing somebody. Is it hero? Keep trying monster that's not right i could be here all day trickster hmm oh i did it i did it oh i got lucky with that one okay Where, what did i get out of that where's the black splurge oh, damn. i was gonna say splooge and i was gonna say splurge and then i said Splurge. Where's the scum? Is it out here? Is 
Excuse me, where's the splurge? Uh. Hello? Where's my charm? Oh! I'm gonna need a bigger charm bracelet. I got it. Look at me. Okay. Um, it says I missed something in here. <sighs> Let me go see. Oh, it's this thing, isn't it? Yes. All right. All righty. Um, so where I want to go next is the trailer park. And then I also have this ranger cabin up here. Um, but... Yeah, I want to go to the trailer park, and then I think there's a save spot somewhere close by to there. Um, and we could end our video there, I think. It definitely wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> but, luckily, I recorded another video for you guys to watch that should be up right now, or around the same time. So, if you hate this one, you could just go watch something else. Isn't that great? It's like I knew that this video was gonna suck, so I'm bribing you with something else. There's actually, I think, a bolt cutter spot over here, too. So I'm gonna actually run over here first. That's this, like, workshop area. With that, like, creepy-ass basement that had the clicker in it. Yeah. There's a bolt cutter spot right here. The fuck was that? <sighs> My god. Um I think there's a cold stash back here somewhere. Okay, we got light. Where's the cult stash? Another locked box. Spare parts. These are the water people. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, he's in the water. <gasps> Who is next to me? She was stuck. Oh, God. Uh. Wasting all my ammo, wasting all my ammo. Jesus.
fuck am I? Oh my god. Why would it start me all the way back here? What the hell? Yeah. Uh-huh. I agree. Why would it start me all the way back here? I'm gonna need a bigger charm bracelet. Oh, I'm mad. Well, I'm not going back there. <laughs> That's just a waste of ammo for one cold stash for those fucking watery ass creatures. So, no thanks, not doing that. I am going to the trailer park where I told you guys I was gonna go in the first place and I will not get sidetracked again because it's not worth it. Why do I hear music like there's the same spot right here? Oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> that was a waste of fucking ammo. At least I got it back since I died. Now, for the trailer park. This was recently flooded before, so now I think all of these trailers are open to us. Where we can just walk right in. Hello, what the? Yako. God, that scared me. Is this incredibly attractive martial arts master. Such a shame. It's me, your brother, Ilmo. I now recognize you, but Ilmo, why are you dressed like that? Deerfest is almost here, which means we're <laughs> chopping the prices on all of our custom designed Deerfest parade floats. Floats created by the award winning team at Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. Winners Guys. of last year's trophy. I can't. Tour. Best deer fest float featuring an animal that is not deer. That very team. And you're gonna get a kick out of our latest float design. We've done it all. Deer <laughs> what float the hell? Rich round floats. Floats shaped like things we can't show on television. Mm. Our floats are the best way to impress your friends. Propose to your partner or throw shade at an office colleague. And we don't do just deer I'm fest. Leaving. Our floats are uh, perfect. Gift of wedding, birthdays, or mitzvahs, or... Let's see. One back here. That's great. Dear mom. Can I pause this? Oh my god. Okay. It's quiet right now because I am going to read this. I just turned off the audio so that I can read this and you can hear me. As I promised, I'm writing to you now that we've settled in. We're doing great and busy as ever. The big city. Jim's working hard and landed a promotion. We're going to celebrate by going to a hot new restaurant that Connie recommended. Laura's doing well in school. She'll have her pick of any college with the grades she's been getting. So proud of my little girl. I've been busy making our apartment into a home, training staff, shopping for furniture. Who knew finding a decent chaise lounge would be so hard? All going well. Don't you worry about us. Hope all is well with you too. Love, Megan. Still going. That's a long one. Oh my god, if I have to hear about beef jerky. I'm over the jerky. No more jerky. <laughs> Alrighty, so that was two of the trailers. This one here is 
R's, I believe. So I'll, I'll do that one last. This, what's this? Ooh, bolt cutters. There's gotta be a nursery rhyme here, because I hear the radio thing. <sighs> Which means there's gonna be monsters if I figure it out. Yep. More of those rhymes. Mm-hmm. Do we got more dolls though? Let's see. The old man who could not see had no children of his own. So he cared for a fawn, not yet grown, for the deer for him was dear, and filled his life with love. So, a man and a deer? And the wise elder? No. Okay, well, could not see. Oh. Mm. There we go. Mm hmm. Hmm. Sorry. Oh, are you dead? Hell yeah. Another charm. Another charm. What's this one? Significantly increases time before darkness shields regenerate. Ooh, I like that. What do I have here? Damn it. Yeah. Use that for a little bit. Oh, we got a light on over here. God. Starlight Symphony. Hair covering logo? Does hair do this in space? What is Rocket connected to? Move foot out for better silhouette? In space, no one can hear you sing. Make text big. Maybe more eye-catching font choice. Comic book story idea. A literal space opera. A sci-fi musical with an alien love triangle. Murder mystery. Alien meets rear window. Sunshine meets the sound of music. Musical parts drawn in black and white. Negative colors. Singing and rhyming. Rhythm is visual. Break the fourth wall. Go all out. This is going to be my best work yet. <laughs> that sounds lovely. That's so random. Man, is that it? That's all that was in here? Waste of time. Bear doll. I'll take that. Oh, we got another one. Oh, another rhyme. The old fisherman had great luck. His catch at sea was beyond belief. But the hungry guest found relief in the fisherman's bountiful truck. Found the the beast found relief in the truck. What? Uh, do I have a fisherman one? No. Yes. <laughs> Okay, that was a literal fluke. I thought I was missing something. Fine by me. This is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I agree. Yeah, there's a lot of fish here. Let me guess, I gotta fight a bear? Wasn't nope. Ready. Oh. Dog in. Made her oh my. Her. Jesus. Oh! 
Yeah, I was, uh, the reason I was just standing there with the rifle, um, was because I was testing out that move where, like, if I stand still, uh, my bullets are more powerful, and it actually worked. So, that was pretty cool. That is useful. That just means I have to stay still and I can't jump around. Jump, jump, jump around. Um, alright, where's the charm? Where is it? Did I pick it up? I did. Coffee World token charm. Increases quality and quantity of resources. I'll take that for right now. And let's head over here. Looks like there's going to be a stash. Oh, look at me learning all the little symbols and stuff. Okay, looks like that's gonna need a key. Okay, screwdriver. Man, I didn't even get to all of the puzzles that I thought I was going to, and I've been recording for almost two hours. That's awesome. It's just so frustrating when I, I try to get as much done as I can and sucks. Mr. Skarsgård, thank you for your proposal, Starlight Symphony. Sounds like a wonderful project and a very creative idea. However, our publishing house will unfortunately have to decline at this time. We wish you all the best in the future. Keep dreaming. Hey, I moved the keys somewhere. The flooding can't wash them away. The spot might be a bit harder to reach, but I'm sure you can get your hands on them just fine. Just let me know you're okay, please. I miss you. Don't need to know where you are, just that you're okay. Just reply to me. You owe me that much. Oof. I moved the keys somewhere. The flooding can't wash them away. Where is that? Because I, I need them. Right, is it in the house or is it outside somewhere? It's like the roof or some bullshit. It's up here. Where the keys at, though? I'm just looking up top. Somewhere it won't. The flooding won't wash away. Is it on the roof? Why would they be on the roof? What? Oh no. Close it. Close it. I don't want to fight that thing right now. I hope that door closing worked. <laughs> oh, this is my house. Is there something in here? That I need to pick up? I don't see anything different. Oh, maybe that was what it was. Just that poster. No? Are you in the house? Go away. Okay, these are, must just be random items that I didn't collect last time I was here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know where that key is. 
He hid it somewhere. That the flooding can't get to. This boat? I don't know. But I'm gonna go save it. Because I don't want to fight this, uh, this wolf thing. So I'm running for it. Ooh! Yeah! Alright, you guys. Before I lose this entire recording because some shit happens with my computer, I am gonna end this video here. I have been recording for two hours. I think I'm happy with the two hours that I did complete. Um, I found a lot of treasures, a lot of cult stashes. I also didn't find the keys for a lot of them, but whatever. Um, I am ready for the next video to go into Alan's chapters and then hopefully finish off this game pretty soon. Um, and yeah, once again, if you stuck around and you watched this entire thing, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You are a true one. You are a real follower, a real subscriber, a real fan. And um, that means a lot to me that you stuck around and listened to me ramble this entire time. And I'm still doing it. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys all have a great week. I hope you watch the other video that I post because that game is really cute and fun and kind of creepy. Um, and, and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.